So the book, the book released in 2019, the book is called Cooking with Chef Wells, Intimate Dinners for Two. What I do is I took my concept of the dinners for two. Um, most of the recipes in the book are for two people. But what I did was I had 29 of my favorite couples that I cook for share their story in the book. So it's their picture and their story of how they met, their dating story, their wedding, their anniversary, funny vacations that they've been on and everything. And these are couples that I, um, you know, it's a variety of couples. It's, Young, old, black, white, interracial. Um, I have a same-sex couple in the book. Um, and just some amazing people. And we've become really great friends. And they were honored to be in my book. I was honored to have them. Now, the one thing, now, one thing that I do, I, I consider myself, the term I use for myself is a chef to this. I'm a mm. chef to, like an activist, I'm a chef to this. Mm. So what I do here is I support seven charities in the Cleveland area every year. I either do an event with COVID, we haven't been able to do events like that. I, I either do the event or uh, donate gift certificates. And it's just, hey, okay. you know, there's a gift certificate for a for two or whatever. Is it the same seven? Or it's pretty okay. much the same seven. Okay. Okay. And these are huge charities. It's, uh, it's <laughs> Autism Society of Greater Cleveland. And, and the cool thing about it, I tell people all the time, or people tell me all the time that they never read the recipes, or rarely read the recipes, but they just read the stories of the wow. couples. Just these amazing stories of these couples, and um, you know, it's some couples. Matter of fact, there's a couple in there that every year on their and well, it's a couple, it's a few couples, but every year on their anniversary, they have me do a dinner for two at a different hotel for them. So this year would be the sixth year in a row. But we do a different hotel, different menu every year. Yeah, we do a different choice. Totally. So there's a couple that, you know, we've grown to be amazing friends and they're just wonderful. For example, I do this saffron rice. I do this, which is the easiest recipe in the world. I take uh, a little butter, a little olive oil, uh, do garlic and some shallots, saute that down, then add, right? um, <laughs> <laughs> add basmati rice. So I'm, I'm uh -huh. kind of toasting the rice. And then I had um, chicken broth, uh, two parts um, broth, and one part rice. So if it's a cup of rice, I'm doing two cups of broth. I put that in, then add the saffron. And maybe, you know, I need a pinch. Yeah, you need a, lot. Need a pinch. Yeah. yeah, and then put it in, bring that to a boil, drop it down mm -hmm. to a simmer, awesome. put a lid on it, and let yeah. it go. Mm -hmm. Once all that liquid evaporates, you have your saffron rice. Thai food, more than any other cuisine, it's the four S's. Four S's being salty, sweet, spicy, and sour. Mm -hmm. So it's a yes. perfect balance between the four. I think we here in America, we think of Thai food, and we immediately think spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's but, all I'm yeah, that's all you think of spicy. <laughs> but it's it's a balance of the four: salty, mm -hmm. sweet, spicy, and sour. Um, and when I teach my cooking classes, probably my favorite class to teach is the Thai.